If you're just getting into Commander, or you're searching for some nice easy decks to brew, look no further, as here are three easy to build around Commanders that also help you learn the game. In no particular order, we have up first, Yarok the Desecrator. I will preface this, Yarok is the most expensive card in this entire video, currently listed at about 10 bucks, but the rest of the cards that go in the deck are so stupidly cheap, it balances out. Anyway, this 5 mana, 3-5, Soltai, Elemental Horror only cares about one thing. Things entering the battlefield. Yarok says, Death Touch and Lifelink. If a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. So effectively, if we have Yarok on the battlefield and we play a Ravenous Chubacarber, its enter the battlefield ability happens twice, so we can destroy two different creatures. Now thanks to the Soltai Wedge that Yarok has given us access to, there is practically nothing this deck can't do. Destroying any type of permanent Check out these cards, Reclamation of Sage, Acidic Slime, Urtai Resurrected, Woodfall Primus, Ramping? No worries, we've got Wood Elves, Risen Reef, and even Lotus Cobra. Countering spells and abilities? Hmm, that's easy. We've got Draining Welk, Abeloth Spawn, and Vensa Shaper Savant. Drawing cards? Well, that's a piece of cake, with cards like Coiling Oracle and Tatiova Benthic Druid. You can even end the game quickly enough with End Raise Forerunners. And if that wasn't enough, you're in the best three colours to protect your commander and find any answer you're looking for. Next we have Taurand the Sky Summoner. Now before I even go over this card, I want to stress. Do not let anyone in your commander group bully you out of playing Mono Blue. Sure, some people may groan, but it is a part of the game, just like any other colour. Blue gets a bad rap for people thinking it's just counters and turn spells. But there's a lot more to the colour. So here's a deck based entirely on counters and turn spells, because that's all I could think of. I'm joking, of course. Anyway, Taurand Sky Summoner is a 4 mana 2-2 two -two that says, Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a 2-2 two -two blue drake token with flying. For Taurand, the game plan is simple and his support cards are actually on the cheap side. We're looking to cast spells, draw cards, and summon a bunch of pesky birds. We'll start with Murmuring Mystic and Docent of Perfection, which are just slight variations of Tarand himself. There's also cards like Metallurgic Summoning, Shark Typhoon, and even Ominous Seas, which fit perfectly into this token theme. If we're going to be generating all these creatures with flying, we may as well include Favorable Winds and Windstorm Drake. Wind Reader Sphinx is an easy auto include. For additional card draw, Blue has no shortage. Here are some of the best bang for buck card draw you can run in the deck. Winged Words, Brainstorm, Treasure Cruise, Consider, Frantic Search, Fact or Fiction, I could go on. For protection, Blue also has no shortage there either. Counterspell, Negate, Rewind, Wizard Retort, Unwind, Disdainful Stroke, these can definitely start you off. To help cast all these spells, cards like Font of Magic, Arcane Melee, Jace's Sanctum, and Haughty Jin can really pay off. I could keep on going, as this is such an easy deck to build around, and the best part is the land base. It's just practically all islands. Next we have Torbran Thane of Redfell. My old command group always had one rule, which I won't forget. A quick game is a good game, and oh boy does Torbran agree. Torbran is a 4 mana 2-4 that makes it so all red sources you control deal an extra 2 points of damage. That means each creature of yours deals an extra 2 points of damage in combat. Any triggered or activated abilities that deal damage deal an additional 2 points. Planeswalkers, instants, sorceries, if it's red and it deals damage, it does more. The idea of this deck is very simple, just deal damage. For creatures, we've got things like Defiler of Instincts, Kessig Flame Breather, Thermo Alchemist, Firebrand Archer, Gutter Snipe, and Tectonic Giant. Torlath, 
God of Fury is amazing here, as the excess damage clause also gets a buff from Torbrand, even if the original damage source already got the buff. Card draw to reveal the hand is really important, so Magus of the Wheel, Big Score, Tormenting Voice, Cathartic Reunion, Seize the Spoils, and Wild Guess ensure you keep a full grip. And once you've burned everybody out and you're out of gas, Pass in Flames and Mizzix's Mastery lets you rip one final time to end the game. Don't forget to include your burn spells such as Comet Storm, Electro Dominance, and Banefire, and your board wipes such as Chain Reaction, Burn Down the House, and Blasphemous Act. Well, there are three deck ideas to get the brewing juices flowing. If you want to see a complete deck tech on any of these cards, let me know. Be sure to like the video if you want to build one of these decks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.